The purpose of this video is to provide a very brief uh, primer on using storm tools. The Coastal Resources Management Council very powerful web mapping application that shows inundation levels for various sea level rise scenarios and storm events. This video is um, part of the initiative by the Watch Hill Conservancy uh, to create a more resilient Watch Hill community uh, in anticipation of sea level rise impacts and large storms. To begin with, um, to get to the Storm Tools website, go to Google and type in CRMC Storm Tools. Storm Tools will come up in the top of your search. You can click on Interactive Maps, like I'm doing here, and that will bring everything up for you. I suggest you um, start with Storm Tools for Beginners. I think most of anything that you would want to see um, will be in that, in that uh, section. Storm Tools, Advanced Storm Tools, uh, no need to go there right now. So click on Storm Tools for Beginners. And this is your basic screen. Uh, let me give you a few navigation hints on using storm tools. You can zoom with that zoom button, zoom in, you can zoom out, and if you just drag the screen around, you can pan. Another way to zoom in, and I like this method a lot, hold down your shift key and then drag a box over an area. Shift key, drag a box, and that will zoom zoom you in um, to an area of your choosing. If you hit the house in the middle, that'll take you back to the default view. Another way to navigate is to simply type in an address. I'm going to type in 100 Bay Street, Westerly. And it comes up at the top of our pick list, and it will automatically take you to that location. And so, if you're interested in, um, if you're interested in mapping inundation levels at your home, sim simply type in the address, and it'll take you there. Um, if you click on this box right here, it will show you the various themes that you can uh, map. Um, you'll be interested in these sea level rise scenarios. The three-foot scenario is what experts predict we'll see by the year 2050. The seven, ten-foot scenarios are 2100. Twelve-foot would be a very dire 2100 um, sea level rise prediction. <coughs> to turn these on and off, you simply click on that box and they will show up. Um, they, they're colored differently. So you can put um, two on the screen at the same time. A very interesting feature on these maps is if you click in the inundated area, it will tell you what the water depth will be at that point. It's important to know that these water levels um, are what's predicted to occur twice a day, every day at high tide when this scenario is met. So this three-foot condition would be the extent of high tide each day in 2050 if the NOAA predictions are correct. Another useful tool on here is if you bring your cursor over the theme that you're mapping, it'll turn blue and you see these three dots on the right. If you click on those dots, and click on the transparency tool, you can make your inundation level um, more or less transparent. So this way I can, I have a better view seeing um, through the uh, inundation area. If you click on this tool right here, it'll bring up a legend for what you're looking at. Another thing that you might find helpful is if you click on base maps, there are a number of base maps that you can um, use as a backdrop. I, I find OpenStreetMap to be a very um, nice base map for a lot of mapping. It's very simple. It's not too cluttered. It has street names in there and um, 
it's it's a, it's a nice backdrop. I'm I'm guessing most people will be uh, quite happy with um, Google imagery uh, in the backdrop. Actually, the imagery is from Environmental Systems Research Institute. They're the people who make this tool. So you have your various sea level rise scenarios. You also have um, you also have storm surge inundation levels. So this is a hundred year storm. This is a storm of this magnitude, kind of like Hurricane Carol in 1954, um, would happen 1% uh, uh, chance occurrence in any, any year. That's why they call it a hundred year storm. So this is giving you the inundation extent as well as the depth. So down here over by the Yacht Club, we'd have nine feet of water in a hundred year storm. We have that scenario plus a hundred year storm on top of a couple of feet of sea level rise. This is a pretty dire map. Down by the Yacht Club entrance we would have 11 feet of water. So um, one thing to bear in mind with these hundred year storm maps, these do not include wave action. They represent uh, surge levels but not wave action or the erosion that would be happening during the storm. Now whereas the sea level rise maps are high tide each day, the 100 year storm in inundation maps um, show the extent of water uh, during the storm but all of that would recede um, after the storm event. You have some additional tools uh, up here I've already shown you the legend, so for the 100-year storm we have a slightly more interesting legend than the uh, maps with just a single color. Um, if you would like to share a map with somebody, you can click on the share button and email them this web address and that will, uh, that will take them to exactly the map that you're showing. You can measure areas and distances with this tool. And if you want to create a PDF document of your map, you can hit the print button and it'll make a, a PDF for you. Let's just quickly do that. We'll say a map with a legend and it's going to chug along and it's uh, creating your map now and it, it actually does a pretty decent job of this. Now you have to be patient with these um, with with the technology here, it it's doing a lot of work for us, and when it's done, it'll it'll let you know. So I'm going to come back to our storm tools here, and um, and we can wrap things up. So, uh, quick refresher: Google CRMC storm tools. This will take you to their very powerful web mapping tool. Choose storm tools for beginners. There are your navigation uh, aids. Here are the different features that you can map. Change the base map. Um, share the URL. Print hard copy. Let's see. If, uh, and here's our printed map. All we have to do is we can right click and say save image as and we can copy this. Um, it's a PNG file, not a PDF. We can copy this to our hard drive and that's what you can uh, email folks. Um, so, uh, the Watch Hill Conservancy hopes that you found this to be um, a helpful little tutorial. Since we're spending all this time doing geography, let's close on um, a geography joke. Tell me, who is smarter, latitude or longitude? Why longitude, of course, it has more degrees than latitude. Okay, on that corny ending, uh, uh, good luck with, with uh, navigating storm tools. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a great, uh, great device, and we should all thank CRMC for making this available to the Rhode Island coastal community.